Hi, I'm Mark, and I want to tell you a little bit about running Stable Diffusion with Odyssey. As you probably already know, Stable Diffusion is an AI image generation model from Stability AI. The general way it works is you provide the model a prompt and optionally a negative prompt, a starting image, and then an image is diffused out of Gaussian noise. With Odyssey, there are two ways you can generate images with Stable Diffusion. First, you can use Stability AI's API. To do this, simply drag in the Stable Diffusion API node. To use this method, you'll need a Stability AI account and your own API key. Navigate to stability.ai and set up an account there. If you already have an account, sign in. Then navigate to platform.stability.ai slash account slash keys. There, you'll be asked to create an API key. Once it's created, Go back to Odyssey and enter the API key in your settings. But there are some downsides. The primary one is cost. Each time you generate an image using the API, you will have a cost associated with it of about two hundredths of a cent. Once you have your API key set up, simply connect your prompt, negative prompt, and starting image if you're using one. Set your steps and click Run. While running models with the API is a fast way to generate multiple images at once, running models locally is a much more powerful and cost-effective way to make the most out of Odyssey. To run models locally, simply drag a stable diffusion node onto your canvas, then connect your prompt and optional negative prompt and starting image. The model dropdown contains all the stable diffusion models that are available to run. Odyssey comes with a few different models that you can download when you first start using the app or by navigating to your settings and clicking downloads. Next, let's set our steps. More steps, the higher fidelity an image, but the longer it takes. For simply generating an image, we like to go anywhere between 24 steps and 50 steps. To start, we're going to use a random seed. Guidance scale will determine how closely your image follows your prompt. Usually between 7 and 15 is best. Compute units will determine how stable diffusion will run on your Mac. We default to CPU and GPU, but if your Mac is struggling, try all or leveraging the neural engine. Reduced memory usage will help prevent older Macs from crashing when running models locally. If you're having performance issues, check this off and it will hopefully help. Next, show previews will show the Gaussian noise being diffused, which honestly is quite fun to watch. And finally, influence determines how strong an impact a starting image has on your output. The first time you run a stable diffusion model locally, it will take some time to load up your model. For SDXL, this can even be a few minutes. But once a model is loaded, generation time will speed up considerably. We are constantly looking for ways to speed up generation time with Odyssey, so keep your auto updates on. To run your stable diffusion model, simply select the node and click Run, and watch as an image is generated. For more on stable diffusion, visit odysseyapp.io/tutorials. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoy your journey with Odyssey.